There are a couple of issues more that I would like to finalise today. Yesterday, when talking about Nordea, that has those nice digits, gadgets for banking that I showed to you. This is the Swedish bank, Nordea, that <coughs> took over Swedish Post, remember? And now they are here in Latvia trying to overtake this beautiful farm, this divine land where we have the gods, priesthood, the indigenous sacred place. One of the very last indigenous sacred lands in the whole Baltic Sea region. But uh, Nordea was the company that gave financing for us to buy this land because there are no national banks left in Latvia. Not one single. So, and because of the financial crisis matrix and because this indigenous farm works on gift economy, it has never taken any money for anything. Nordea now is grabbing this farm. They are trying to. And this is corporate overtake of the property of indigenous. The whole system of indigenous traditional life standards has been forced into this digital matrix of euros and our indigenous culture does not accept usually it does not accept drinking blood and eating flesh and sinning as it does in the Christian churches and we don't want to use their money. We want to have our own. So we have this Baltic indigenous room. Money means. And they don't accept them. But we insist that we have the right to pay with these Baltic indigenous runes because the value of our work is huge. We are extremely competent. We are the sacred protectors of Mother Earth and without us there is no way that security systems on Earth will be safe. So, this global corporate digital inquisition is, as Alex Jones would say, a global fascism. But I definitely prefer to call it global inquisition because it thrives from the very first corporation that went global, and that is Vatican. And its inquisitorial corporate imperial expansion that has now gone into global financial system and military. And it doesn't have any Russia and West divide. It is Bank of International Settlements and Federal Reserve Bank. 
So, and uh, <clears throat> it is a digital game now. They have put it all digital with these devices of banking. And if you don't have euros, you are out of the game and you don't have any rights. Nor human rights, nor indigenous. You just can't exist because you don't get any resources. This is digital inquisition and we stop it. We don't accept it. We claim our rights back. Furthermore, it has gone through this NASDA where you can see that um, the previously named Nordea, the daughter company of Latvia, Swedish to the Swedish company, has come in there this year into stock market of Nasda and the most valuable of them is Latvenergo, that is Baltic Sea Regional stock market, Nasda. The most valuable company is Latvenergo and they are now planning to shut down electricity on this farm. Also, just because indigenous people don't have euros and their work is a gift economy and doesn't result in any euros. So, what we noticed is that this corporate overtake of states is transnational and it is digital and it is automated, it is automatical inquisition, it is mass murder that is digitally automatical. If euros don't come into these corporations you just they shut you out and you just stop existing because it is almost impossible to survive in the Baltic Sea region without digital money. Because in the land areas, rural areas, there are no banks at all. There are just few bank machines for, for, to take out with a credit card the money. And if you don't have the credit card, if they, if they block your accounts because you don't have euros, then you don't have means, you don't, you can't sort of exist. So this is an automated digital weapon of mass destruction. That's what this is. This digital bank system and it has to be forbidden now it is criminal war tool it is Our right to use our money that is not the money of digital war and doesn't in 
include any dollar bill, Federal Reserve Banking system. That is our own Baltic indigenous runes. And nobody can deny us the right to emit it ourselves. That's where we get into this part of anarchy, because everybody can emit this money themselves as much as they need for basic needs. But we need to get the government to properly redistribute the resources available. It is almost a million of most active and fertile people that have left Latvia. That is a country where that number is almost third of the total number of inhabitants. It is a disaster. It is war. It's called war time here. And the picture by David Icke reptilian top as the blondes is just criminal because the blondes are really now dying out on the planet and this is the cradle of the blondes the Baltic Latvia and Lithuania. And we need to protect our race and each race. To protect each other. And we do that by emitting our own money. This is the time when they have driven out our children out of this land of our predecessors and they are forcing in immigrants here. That is the Third World War. And we will not allow it. It is unacceptable. We will get our children back into our motherland. You can see on YouTube a video that I videoed in the apartment of my daughter that was taken away from me and my daughter by colonizers of this region where the woman that has overtaken our apartment openly says that she is a colonizer, but she is within the system and she does everything as the Euros apply. She has the judicial system services intact. She has paid for everything as she is within the church that praises the Euros. 
and she has a drawing of the pyramid now in our apartment on the wall where in the top of it there is an eye of Satan that is on the dollar bill. It is just unbelievable how God has put it. There is a video about it that I filmed in our apartment that she has overtaken. And she says, I work for people who emit euros. I'm a colonizer. And I have now everything. Your, this apartment now is mine. It is registered in my name in official books. And you indigenous people, I couldn't care less about it. So when uh, you hear this nonsense about poor Russians that are being poorly managed by these wealthy Latvians in Latvia, it's propaganda. It's just propaganda to destroy indigenous people of Latvia as each colonizers in each region are supposed to destroy each indigenous people in each region. That is the methodology. And only by creating our own money that has to be accepted everywhere, we can get back our living accommodations Our own banks, our own banks, we will run our, our own banks. Nobody else, there will be no racial discrimination for those who are allowed to run banks. And licensing of banks will not be run by some global racists. No, each indigenous people will create their own banks and nobody has the right to, uh, to force them licensing of bank accounts that have to be linked to Visa cards and MasterCards controlled by Rothschilds and Rockefellers. That has to end now. We are dying here. Our kin's are calling SOS. We need a period of new era of rehabilitation and compensation for this cold war on our families. We are establishing indigenous world order. Make it happen in your region too. Let it be so.